Hey guys, the topic of today's session is integrating Amazon DB DAX in your .NET applications. Amazon DynamoDB DAX is a fully managed, highly available in-memory cache for DynamoDB that delivers up to a 10x performance improvement from milliseconds to microseconds. You do not need to modify application logic if you're already using DynamoDB. Since DAX is compatible with existing DynamoDB API calls. To access your DAX cluster, you'll need to access it from an Amazon EC2 instance in the same Amazon VPC. In this video, I'm building and running my .NET application from an EC2 instance in the same VPC as the DynamoDB DAX cluster. To get started, let's create a new DynamoDB table, navigate to DynamoDB in the AWS Management Console, and click the Create Table button. First, I'm going to create a DynamoDB table called DAX Example. After creating the DynamoDB table, I'll create a DAX cluster called My DAX Cluster. Specify a name and IAM role that will give permission to the DynamoDB table to the DynamoDB DAX cluster. It may take a few minutes until your DAX cluster is in an available state. Once it shows a status of available, click the cluster name to look at the details of the cluster and take note of the cluster endpoint and cluster ARN values. Now navigate back to your DynamoDB table and add some items to the table. In this example, I'll be adding five items with an additional field called some data. You can duplicate an item to speed up the process. Now I'm going to navigate to Visual Studio and create a new .NET application called Dynamo DAX App. The first thing you need to do is add the AWS SDK.dax.client package to your application. Next, I'm going to add some sample code that uses the AWS SDK.dax.client package to retrieve items from the DynamoDB DAX cluster. I'll try and run this code, but it will produce a runtime error because my EC2 doesn't have permissions to talk to DynamoDB DAX. To fix this runtime error, I'll attach an already existing IAM role to my EC2 instance, which has a policy that grants permission to the specific DynamoDB DAX cluster. Now when I run the application, it will output the items from the DynamoDB table along with the amount of time it took to do the retrieval. In this case, it took 146 milliseconds. Because DynamoDB DAX is compatible with existing DynamoDB API calls, I can swap out the DynamoDB DAX client and compare the timing when accessing the DynamoDB table without DAX. In this case, it took 894 milliseconds, which is still quick. If you need the fastest performance possible, from DynamoDB, you should use DAX to provide up to a 10x performance improvement. Well, this concludes this presentation of integrating DynamoDB DAX in your .NET application. Thanks for watching.